Hi, this is Tim with SmallScaleRC.com. Today we have the Lemur, the latest FCX24 model from FMS. It is a tube frame chassis rock buggy, plain and simple. Um, not a lot of scale detail on this vehicle from the box art. It's got some big, what appear to be some very big tires. Uh, has an LED light bar, but otherwise it's just, it's ready and primed to crawl. Now, this isn't the first FCX24 model from FMS. It just, it's a continuation in that, that family lineup and that family tree of models from FMS. You have, um, if you like monster trucks, you've got the Smasher and Smasher V2 FCX24 model. Very fun monster truck, even though it's built on a crawler platform. Uh, then you have the K5 Blazer. I threw some aftermarket wheels and tires on there, but otherwise it's all stock um, for the more scale-minded folks. Uh, then you have the Power Wagon, which I don't have. And then you have this. Um, this is going to be an interesting little addition, again, to that whole family um, and that entire lineup. Now, let's take a quick spin around the box. It comes in three different colors, green, red, and orange. And I believe I looked at the box earlier. They sent me the red one. Cool. Uh, spinning the box around, front view, back view, not a whole bunch of information back here, but we do have some specs on the very bottom of the box. So when we're looking at wheelbase, we have 136 millimeters from axle to axle, has 41 millimeters of ground clearance, which is pretty decent. This does have portal axles like all other FCX24 models out there. Uh, so you have that going for you. You have an overall length of 209 millimeters and it looks like that covers it for the side view. Looking at the front and the rear view, height on this vehicle is 120 millimeters, has a track width of 106 millimeters, overall width of 128. So not too shabby? Question mark? It's enough yammering for right now. Why don't I take it out of the box and we'll see what it looks like. So out of the box, this is the lemur. And boy, are those some big, tall tires. Uh, I noticed a couple things. I noticed it right there too. Uh, a couple things about this truck or buggy. When I pulled it out of the box and set it down, it doesn't have the telltale bobble of friction shocks. So I'm thinking without looking too much into the manual, I think we've got oil filled shocks on this rig, which is fantastic. I love to see that. Um, I mentioned the tires, they are very tall. And we're gonna do a little size comparison between the stock FCX24 K5 tires. And oh my, yes, they are <laughs> much, much taller. Um, they're even taller, I think, than, yeah. So I've got a set of Enjora all-terrain tires on here that are taller than the stock FCX, or, uh, than the stock K5 tires. And yeah, these are even taller than that. Um, another interesting thing to note about these tires is that they are, appear to be officially licensed BF Goodrich Mud Terrain TAs. Uh, so you have an official one-to-one -one scale replicated tread pattern on there. That'll be interesting to see how that performs um, out on the rocks, the wood, the logs, whatever you end up crawling on. Uh, again, this is more of a crawler-based um, vehicle versus a trail-type machine. Uh, controller, 2.4 gigahertz, I'm guessing either three or four channel depending on what is all there to control. This does have a two-speed uh, transmission, low gear, high gear, as with the other FCX24 models. And it has a light bar up front. I'm guessing you can be you can turn that on or off. Um, other stuff that you get with this model, a USB battery charger, a nut wrench, and it looks like some shock collars to make adjustments on your shocks. And you get your trusty lemur instruction manual. To get to the battery, let me pop off this back cover. And there we go. Just plug this in. 
give it a run. Getting everything back, tucked back in here, maybe. But sure. Wrangling the wires. There we go. It's a nice snug connection, too, and, and bit. It's not going to come off. Power up. My steering is backwards, so I got to get that straightened out. But let's gear some power. Use that low gear. And high gear. And there we go. We got our LED light bar turned on by hitting the bind button. So this is almost, I think it's an identical setup to the other FCX24 models. So I'm going to take this outside for a quick run and I'll come back in and share my thoughts and my experiences with the first time drive with the lemur. Okay, I am back inside from my outdoor adventure with the lemur. Um, I think it needs a, a, just a smidge of work to get it uh, to be a real good performer. It it holds its own. Um, I don't know. Looks wise, I'm I'm not really digging the super tall tires, so I'm probably going to do something there, switch those out and add some weight. Um, I do feel like it does need a little bit of weight. It was lacking some bite and some grip. Uh, these tires look fantastic. Uh, I would almost rather see those on something like the Blazer or something that maybe is more trail oriented versus crawling. Crawling, I would rather get a, a more aggressive tread pattern, um, something maybe a little bit deeper. Uh, but I will give FMS a ton of credit for, for going with a tire like this, um, going that licensed route. These are, these look really good. So hopefully we'll see this style of tire show up on other vehicles. Maybe a little bit smaller would be better. Um, get, and I think if you do, do get a smaller set of tires on here, I think that might help the overall look of this thing. It looks a little toyish right now. I think because it's so just tall, you have the tall tires, and you add on to that the, the portal axles, it's just a big, tall truck. Just occurred to me, I did not do a side-by-side -side with the Smasher. Um, and the tires are actually taller than the Smasher tires by just a, I think just a smidge. They might be the same height. Um, so you basically have like a monster truck height crawler out there. Now, I will say this rig, the Smasher can crawl and it can do an amazing job with that. Um, this thing, I just ran into a couple issues. Um, 
more than I expected to. Other FCX24 models that I have and that I've driven really have had no problems with some of the things that this got caught up on and hung up on. So I, I don't think it is, I, I just think it needs a little, little massaging, a little love uh, to really get it to where you want it to be. Um, visual wise, you know, I said, I, once I can, once I look past the tire height, which we can change, uh, the wheels look really cool. I will, will say that. And I'm loving the fact that this has oil filled shocks. Uh, once I look past this, it, you know, it's not a bad setup. It's not a bad looking machine. Um, the body panels, they are what they are. Um, but it was a fun truck. It was a fun buggy to drive. Um, sorry buggy, not truck, uh, fun machine to drive, um, uh, performed incredibly well. I just need to make a few tweaks. Um, and we'll, we'll see if we can't squeeze a little bit more performance out of this machine. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this overview of the lemur. If you like small scale RC stuff and you're into crawling, but you don't really care about scale or, or looks all that much, um, at least realism, then this might be worth taking a look at. It's $145.99. You can find out more about this vehicle at fmshobby.com. And I do want to thank FMS for sending the lemur my way to get a closer look at. Um, with that, I'm going to have more content on this vehicle, more running footage, definitely um, a written review. And I will probably do some follow-ups as well as I start making some tweaks and adjustments to this machine. Like I said, adding some weight, swapping out the tires and the wheels, things like that. See if we can't make this um, run even better. Um, but with that, this video is going to come to an end. Uh, if you want to learn more about this rig, that rig, any of these rigs that you see on the table right now, head over to smallscalerc.com. There you'll find news, reviews, videos, photos, you name it. And if you're really into RC, head over to rcnoob.com, where you'll find uh, all of my same stuff, news, reviews, writings, podcast about pretty much every scale of RC. So small scale RC for the small stuff, RC noob for everything else. With that, my name is Tim. Thank you for listening. Talk with you later.